Pimpos! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I really hope you guys are doing well and I wanna thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So I have been seeing everyone and their mother do the assumptions video on YouTube. So I decided why not follow the crowd a little bit and do my own assumptions video. So I asked you guys on YouTube and Instagram if you could just message me some of your assumptions. So basically, if you haven't seen these videos, how they work is you message, a YouTuber who you may have some assumptions about and then they respond to them in a video. So I know I've had assumptions about people that I watch online because you really don't know everything about the people that you see on your computer screen. You just kind of assume things about them that's totally like normal because you feel like you know them but you don't actually know them. So let's set the record straight and respond to some of your guys' assumptions about me. The first assumption you guys had was that I dye my hair blue blonde and that is right. I, well, somewhat, I do dye my hair, but I do have naturally pretty light hair. So I've been dyeing my hair blonde for years. I feel like I would never become a brunette. I feel like blonde is just like my aesthetic. Like it goes with my personality. Like I feel like when you think of Christina, you just think of blonde. Like if I had really dark hair, it just wouldn't work. That's just how I feel. But I do dye my hair blonde. Um, but like when I was little, my my hair was white, super blonde. So it is really easy for me to lighten my hair. But as you guys can see, I seriously need to get my hair done. It is really dark at the top. So I've kind of got like an ombre thing going on here. That's not intentional. That's just like my hair growing out. But I feel like I don't really have the money right now to spend like a hundred dollars on my hair because my hair is so thick and long and the hairdresser has to use so much dye on it and it takes them so long. My hair costs like $180 to do which is a lot and for right now I don't really mind like the dark roots. So maybe once the summer gets a little bit closer, I will dye my hair again. The next assumption from one of you guys says, I love you, you seem so nice and chill. I assume you don't get stressed easy or at least you hide it well. Um, yes and no. I get, do get stressed easily because I have anxiety. I'm on medication for anxiety and I do hide it well. So that assumption is very true. Um, I've like perfected my poker face over the years. So even if I'm literally dying, having an anxiety attack on the inside, I will appear totally calm and collected. Like I don't let anybody see that I'm feeling anxious, but this comes with a whole other set of problems. Like I have a lot of stomach issues that comes from my anxiety. So like, because I don't really talk about my feelings a whole lot or like talk about when I'm really anxious, um, it's really detrimental to my health. And I experience a lot of health issues because of that, but I'm definitely not as bad as I used to be. And I don't get as stressed out as I used to when I was younger. I used to be like the perfect student. I set such high expectations for myself. I was always worried about what other people thought of me. And I think that's where my anxiety problems came from. I had a bit of a breakdown when I was in my senior year of high school. I lost a bunch of weight. I couldn't eat anything. I was so sick. And that was the reason because I put such high expectations on myself. But now I know what's important in life. And I know that I just want to be happy no matter what that looks like. I don't need a lot of money or a lot of nice things. Um, I just want to live a simple life. And because of that, I am so much less stressed than I used to be. The next assumption is that I don't procrastinate, which is really funny because I know I come across as like a very um, organized person and I am very organized, but when it comes to doing things on time, I am the biggest procrastinator but I always get it done. In university, I would literally do papers the day before, like five page papers I would be doing the day before, but yet I would always get a really great mark on it. And I think that's because I really do work well under pressure. So if I know that the deadline is really far away, I don't put as much effort into it and I don't do as good of a job. That's what I tell myself when I feel bad about procrastinating. I just say like, well, you know what? 
the finished product is gonna be good because it always is. <laughs> I thought this next assumption was super funny. Um, Holly Wilson said, I don't know what assumptions to have about you. All of the ones I have thought of you, you would think that they were so unfamily friendly. They are jokes, but like, I could not imagine you doing bad things. <laughs> So I'm just wondering, like, what qualifies as a bad thing? You know what I mean? <laughs> to answer, like, I guess a little bit of the question is that I do not really drink. Um, I drank a little bit more in university. Um, so I would probably go out with friends and have some drinks every single weekend in university. But um, I haven't had a drink in like, well, I have like a glass of wine or a glass of cider here and there, but I haven't like had a night of drinking in months. So I don't drink very much. And I also do not do drugs. Um, I've never smoked a cigarette. I've never smoked weed. Like, and so many people get surprised by that, especially where I live in Canada and like weed is legal now. But no, I have never like, I've never done anything like that. I've never been high. So I guess I don't really do bad things. I'm not a criminal. I don't break the law. <laughs> so I'm just a good girl at heart, I guess. The next assumption comes from the beauty reviewer. And they said, I assume you wear makeup up every day and that is a good correct assumption about me my biggest insecurity or one of them is my skin I've always struggled with acne and so and I have a lot of like redness in my face too my skin scars really easily so I still have marks on my face from like pimples that I've had a year ago and they're really hard to get rid of so I always hate um leaving the house without makeup on I've gotten a little bit better Better. Um, for example, when I was younger and I would go camping with my family, I would put makeup on before I would leave my tent in the morning. Like camping with my family, I didn't want anybody to see my face. I was that self-conscious of it, but that was like at the height of my puberty before I went on birth control for my acne. So my acne was really, really bad back then, but it's always been something that I struggle with. So that's that's why I really like to wear makeup every day. Steph B sent in an assumption and she said that you are extremely loyal to your friends and family. And this is true. I am so close with my family and I'm also really close with my friends. I really don't have that many friends. <laughs> That's like so funny to say. I'm just a big loner, but no, like honestly I am. I don't have that many friends um, because I don't want to say that I'm picky, but I guess I'm, I'm just really independent and I don't really have time for like relationships that aren't really good, if you know what I mean. So like if I'm going to be putting time into spending with people, I want the people to be good and nice. And sometimes it's just hard to find people that you click with a hundred percent. So I have a very, very small group of friends and family, but I love them dearly. I would do anything for them. So that is a correct assumption, Steph. Jenny Potts said, you don't treat yourself very often. Love your videos. Thank you so much, Jenny. And that is a correct assumption. I never treat myself, but I don't want to say that this is a good thing. I love saving my money, but I think there is a good balance and I am definitely on um, a little bit too too far over on the not treating myself side. I cannot remember the last time I bought myself something, which is pretty bad. Like it's probably been months since I've spent anything on myself other than like food. But uh, yeah, like I should probably treat myself more often, but I just feel so guilty if I buy something for myself, which is so bad. Like I should allow myself to buy something, but I just feel like at this time in my life, I'm just trying so hard to save. And I keep telling myself like, when I have more money, then I'll treat myself. So I definitely should go out and treat myself now, now that I'm thinking about it. The next assumption comes from Irene and she said, you never went to uni. And that is a false assumption. I did go to university for five years, five long years. No, I'm just kidding. It was actually like so fast. I can't believe I'm out of university and like an adult. 
adult, I thought I would feel much more um, mature than I do now, but life just continues and you kind of feel the same after university, honestly. I went to school for five years and I did a social work degree. The next assumption comes from Valerie and she assumes that I am pregnant. No, I am definitely not pregnant. Ooh, that would like, that would add a whole other bit of stress to my life. Even though I want to be a mom so bad, I have baby fever so bad. When me and Aaron go out shopping, like I drag him to the baby section as if we're like having children soon, but I just love everything baby. They're so cute and I can't wait to have my own child one day. That's just like when I envision my future, I just see, a house with tons of kids running around playing games all day and like I just love family life so I'm really excited to have kids one day but definitely not yet I still have a lot of stuff I want to do want to build more of a career and I also want to travel a lot too Sydney assumes that I don't work a full-time job and I would say I work more than a full-time job. Um, I teach online, I teach kids in China, I also am a waitress, and I am also a social worker. So I work with kids in the community, doing different programs with them, and just trying to get them more involved in their community and helping them through tough situations. So I have three jobs, which is crazy, um, on top of doing YouTube. YouTube, which I hope will be a job one day. So yes, that was a false assumption. I definitely do have a full-time job. Chastin assumes that I never have bad days and that I'm always positive. And that is so not true. I definitely have bad days. Everybody has bad days. And I know that it seems like I'm super positive and I always have good days and I'm always just like talking about motivation and being inspired on my channel, but just like I'm human and everybody has bad days, but I'm definitely not positive 100% of the time. And sometimes I do have down days. I really do push myself hard in everything that I do, like YouTube, for example. And sometimes if I compare myself to others, because I do this too, um, I can like have a really bad day. And like, I always want to be doing better and to be pushing myself. I'm thinking specifically like, like for YouTube and how much YouTube means to me and seeing other people maybe get ahead and then I feel like I'm still stuck behind or I'm not creating as good of content as I could. These kind of like thoughts that I have um, give me bad days sometimes, but I always come out of it and I just remind myself how lucky I am and I it never takes me too long to get re-inspired again. Okay, the last assumption I'm gonna do because this video is getting super super long is you've never had surgery and you aren't allergic to anything so um I have not really had surgery unless you count getting my wisdom teeth out I got my wisdom teeth out in high school and I actually had five which is nuts and like that's totally just my luck to have five teeth to pull out but I did get like put to sleep and they had to like cut open my gums and stuff so I guess that's kind of surgery but other than that no I have not and I do have an allergy I'm allergic to gluten which really sucks and sometimes I don't like saying that because everybody's always making fun of people who have a gluten allergy they're like oh like gluten I'm allergic to gluten but no seriously like if I eat gluten, mm, bad things happen. Let me tell you, I better be close to a toilet because like gluten and, and me just don't agree with each other. And I am not diagnosed as celiac. My doctor said that I probably am given my symptoms, but the only way for them to test if I do have celiac disease would be for me to eat gluten again for a few months and then they would do a blood test and see if my body is reacting in the way that somebody who has celiac disease would but I I just cannot eat gluten for a few months like I wouldn't be able to go to work I wouldn't be able to do anything as I said like I would literally just be on the toilet 24 7 this is probably TMI but you guys clicked into this video you committed to learning so much more about me. <laughs> 
So yeah, I don't know for sure if I have celiac disease, but I definitely do have a gluten allergy of some sort. All right, guys, so that is gonna be it for today's video. If you're still here, you are amazing. You're my number one because this video was so long, but I wanna thank you for watching. And if you're new to my channel, consider hitting the red subscribe button so that you can keep up with all of my other videos. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.